So you're happy to be like off the television? I turned 30 like last year and I was like, it's just too much. So I had a relationship on the show. Wow. It was horrendous. Was it tough? Was it horrendous? Like, yeah. like he asked me out on camera and then six months later I looked back and I was like, I'm in a relationship <laughs> with someone. Do you know what I mean? In front of the viewer's eyes, I fell in love, if you like, and got into a relationship. I've moved on. I'm trying you to move on. You clearly haven't, Rick. You're bitter. You got dumped. Get over it. <laughs> the old clips, I get so cringed out when I'm like, oh, no. That's how I ended it. And the amount of tweets like, when, like, that happened and stuff, it was just crazy. People cared so much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just... was really hard, and at times, you know, it was... Yeah, it was difficult, but it was what I signed up for. It was what I was... You know, it was, it was my job, in a way, and I, I didn't mean to fall into a relationship with someone on that show, but I did. You don't want to let something like that define you as, a, like, the person that you are, I suppose. Or Absolutely. Like, so... Completely. Like... The person that was on telly and had that relationship is a completely different person to who I am now. I mean, she was weak, she was vulnerable, she didn't know who she was. <laughs> I feel like now I've got the absolute ability to be like, no, you're not right for me. Not gonna happen. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people Hello. say. You're riding high in April, shut down in May. The worst thing that could happen is whoever it is sees it's me, says, ah, and runs. It has happened. If that doesn't happen, that's an amazing first step. How do you do? Very good, thank you very much. And you? OK, right. How do you do? Hello. You may be my date. 